So one of the first things a lot of people think about or, or ask, um, why should I have a website, a blog? Particularly when like when we look at like social media like Facebook and Instagram and all the, the different things that you can do on social media. Many people today don't think they should or they should need a website, a blog. But one of the things that um, I've had blogs and websites for 23 years. And I had some of them, just, you know, they were kind of started just before my business started. And basically, I've, I've recognised the value of having websites and blogs for, for so many reasons. And because I've had an online business for so long, I've seen a lot of changes and how much changes like so for example there's certain things in marketing and business that are fashionable maybe one year or a few years and then it's not so fashionable and things change but one of the things I would always say to you is lots of things constantly are changing and if you rely on forms of advertising marketing that you don't own if you rely on platforms that you don't own and that you don't control um, and you build your business on these platforms and then suddenly they suddenly are no more or they suddenly change the rules or they suddenly start charging and you can't afford, you have a serious problem, especially when you are using that as solely a way to build up your audience. And basically, one of the things that I see is a lot of people focusing on building their business on what you would call temporary platforms or temporary um, things that are not going to be organic and evergreen. If you own your own website or blog, it can be evergreen. So you can have content that's relevant for a lifetime or the lifetime of your business. So the number one, you the more that you own something or have as much control over something as possible, the better, right? And number two, you have the ability to create evergreen content and use long term. And it, you know, you have more control. Of course, sometimes things like website and blogs, design change or the way that they're done change. But the content on it is, is you can have content. So, for example, I've changed lots of websites and blogs. And one of the things that I regret is I, for, for a variety of reasons, at one point I was seriously ill and I lost quite a few of my blogs that I had for at least 10 years. They had great traffic and whatever. And I've actually also sold domains and made money from my domains because of the traffic they were getting and whatever. But one of the things that I recognised was that the longer that you have a website, a blog, and it's good quality content, it's recognised in the search engines as well. It's, it's recognised the longer something's there, it's recognised as if it's trusted, right? So you've got lots of factors. But the main thing, as I said, is number one, you are not reliant on something else too that you can create your own evergreen and long-term content and three it's the fact that you have not just control over it but you are creating your own advertisement right if you create a website effectively enough right your website can be an amazing advert and lots of people just assume that everyone just uses social media to make most of their sales and, you know, for purchases. I still get most of the time, most of my traffic in many ways comes through Google, right? It particularly what you would call um, direct conversion, right? And quick conversion. Also, interestingly, when people are, um, coming to me for coaching a lot of people just google and look and see the information and make a quick um like could you say decision for the people that are really ready it tends to be that so 
I believe that, especially today, we've just, if you look at the last few years, you can see so many reasons why um, people shouldn't rely on social media and, and, and never, ever just put your eggs in one basket and build your business just around one social media platform. At the end of the day, you don't own it. And one of the things that I see a lot of people, a lot of anger and resentment over, like, for example, social media because you're not getting engagement. It can be frustrating, but you've got to remember you don't own that platform and someone else is paying in many ways for you to be able to access it for free. For example, Facebook costs millions of pounds to run. And the only way that you're actually able to use it for free is because of someone else is paying for that the advertising on that so you're piggybacking on that and it's so important to remember that I think one of the the strain I find it quite interesting why because people are so used to getting um, so much free advertising on social media there's a sense of entitlement where 20, 30 years ago, you didn't have any of these things and you, you know, you had everything you had to pay for, well, most things you had to pay for for advertising. So I believe that's why you should, you know, have a website, a blog, because you can lose your business like that. But if you have a website, even if you start small, you own it and you can start building up.